Hi friends, <coughs> this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous session, we have seen how to push the data into an document. We have seen it. So how to push some data into the document without uh, changing the without changing the existing data. We have seen it, right? Now how we can delete the some of the data in an existing array. Let's try to see in this video. So we can delete this existing data or the first item or something like that in an array using the pop and also the pull operator. Let's try to see about this pop operator first and then afterwards you'll see about the pull operator. First the pop operator removes the first or last element of an array. So the pop operator just like pushes how it pushes it removes the first or the last element. So it removes only the first or last element not between the elements. If you may, if you mention the value as minus one, it removes the first element. If you mention the value as one, it removes the last element. So let's try to see the behavior of this one. Let's say that I am having db dot students dot drop. I will be dropping if it, if it is existing. Okay. So I am adding <coughs> db dot students dot insert one. I am inserting one array, uh, one data. So it will be having scores of 8 comma 9 comma 10 comma 11 comma 12 like this we are having some scores okay now i want to delete the first item so okay i want to delete the first item so how can i delete this first item so i mentioned that minus one means it removes the first element one means it removes the last element right so here i can use up db dot students dot update one as we are having only one item i am using update one you can also use update many not a problem here I can use something like dollar pop okay dollar pop and here I need to mention in which area I want to delete so scores and I can, you can mention it minus one that's it now if you try to see find item so now 8 will be removed you will be having only 9 10 11 and 12 so we have removed the first element in an array if you want to remove the last element 12 means what I can do is here I need to mention it as one so now if I try to see find now the last element has been removed so this is how the pop operator will be used to remove the first and last element in an array okay fine the first and last element we have removed it but what about the middle element you are having something like db dot students dot find i want to remove this 10th element so how can i remove this one so how to how to remove this 10 or otherwise i want to remove some data some set of data that matching the condition or something like that how can i remove that one so we can use this pull operator to remove the existing array of all instance or the values which matches a specified condition so let's try to do some basic example i am having a db dot stores so let's try to see whether we are having any or not no we are not we are not having anything i am taking one collection db dot stores i am inserting okay some data so here you will be having data of fruits so which takes apples which has apples oranges pineapple let's assume okay these are the things we are having and another one in this one only we are having vegetables also carrots and onions onions and another one what we can do is mm, carrots onions and let's say that uh, we have another thing something like beans okay let's say issue so these are the vegetables we are having let's insert another one we are having another one oranges pineapple so we don't have a pineapple let's assume uh, we have kiwi and we have a banana okay banana no no okay uh, in this one let's say assume let's keep it as uh, uh, onions carrots this thing so so these are the two items we are having let's see db dot stores dot find dot pretty so now these are the items we are having so these are the items now in this one we are having fruits as apples and oranges and pineapple carrots onions and beans and here also apples oranges kiwis and banana and onions and beans now what i want to do is i want to remove apples and oranges 
from the fruits and also carrots from the vegetables i want to remove remove it or otherwise let's say that i want to remove apples and oranges and i want to remove onions from here onions is there here and here also right onions i want to remove and i want to remove apples and oranges from here okay so how can we remove this apples and oranges and give onions so we don't know that so it is present yeah, in between or something like that it is present so we need to pull specific items so that is nothing but apples and oranges and here onions i want to remove we can use the pull operator here if you want to use the pull operator what i can do is db dot stores dot update many so here we are having many right we are having two color two documents so that is the reason i am using update many i am not adding any condition if you want you can also add a condition and here i want to remove first fruits <clears throat> so first we need to use dollar pull so not pop this time we are trying to pull some data specified data so we need to use the pull so first one is the fruits data so well, let's give the fruits data in this fruits data i want to remove apples and an oranges so here i need to tell that in apples and oranges okay so this is the data i want to remove and fruits is completed now i want to remove the vegetables also vegetables if you have only one i can add carrots if you are having more than one means you can use it in operator that's it if i try to press enter so changed if i try to check the pretty now here apples and oranges has been removed and here also okay i have used the carrots instead of onions okay fine so we have removed the onion uh, carrots also here in this one also apples and oranges has been removed and it's also a carrot also removed so this is how we can remove the particular data from an array pull pull, pull uh, this is how we will be using the pull operator for example let's say that not only like this we can also use if you are having 8 9 10 11 12 we can also use the greater than or equal to operator so that we can remove all the items let's assume that we are having an array not a single data it's a, you are having an object uh, let's uh, add a, some data something like um, db dot survey i am using survey dot insert one okay we are having a results let's so let's say that we are having a results and in this one you are having um, item is equal to a and we have an another one something like uh, score which is equal to 10 let's say that we have another one item which is of type b and we can have score which is of type 11 uh, that's it right so now let's try to add another one <coughs> uh, that's it so add another another thing something like c which is having 10 and we keep this b only these are the two items which got inserted db dot survey dot find dot pretty if we try to see here we are having array of objects now i want to remove this b item which is having 11 so if you are having 11 or something like greater than or equal to or something like 10 also you can use it what not a problem now here i can use in such a situation that db dot survey dot update many we are having more so many items so i am not using any condition and here i can use dollar pull so in this one we can have a results okay which is having exactly of score of 11 and also item of b if you want you can use something like greater than or equal to like this also you can use it so dollar greater than or equal to 10 you can use it like this also if i click on this one so now here we have modified to now if you try to see the find of pretty now see the b item has been removed so like this if you want to remove a specific item from an area of elements you can use these type of things to rem to remove the elements so this is how we will be removing the elements from my already existing elements okay so if you want to remove all the things means you can delete it if you want to remove these all things if you want to remove specific items only we need to use the pull or pop operator so this is how we will be using these all things hope you understood about this uh, pull and pop operator if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you